On the one hand, Hamlet's plot is about as careening and convoluted as they come. On the other hand, it's incredibly simple. Here's what I mean. Here's the plot of Hamlet. The ghost of Hamlet's dead father returns to ask Hamlet to seek revenge on Claudius, his murderer. Hamlet dillies and dallies, searches for certainty regarding the ghost's claims, finds some, and skewers Claudius like a piece of barbecue meat. The end. Okay, I'm kidding, of course, because the dillying and the dallying are what make up the bulk of this play. And Hamlet's scenes in between meeting the ghost and exacting his revenge are also what provide clues to his madness or his sanity, depending on how you look at it. For example, he has words with Claudius. He has words with his former friends, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. He sets a trap for Claudius. He has words with his ex-lover, Ophelia. He tries to kill Claudius and fails. He kills Ophelia's father. He has words with his mother. He's banished to England. He's captured by pirates. He returns and duels with Ophelia's brother, which is when he finally learns for sure that Claudius killed his father and can act. In the end, Hamlet gets his revenge and then dies. A madman? Maybe. Or maybe mad just describes the mind of a man who could come up with a plot like this one.